This is a continuation of the first video. Uh, I left off with uh, wanting more um, more oversteer on throttle at Palsy Wales, Gufron, Forest Long. Um, we'll resume where we left off. Let's see, yeah. Wait, conditions, midday cloudy. 2010s, Fiesta. <coughs> some water. <clears throat> I would add out, edit out the load times, but um, on the PS4 I'm only capable of trimming the ends of, a vi of videos, the, the beginning and the end. Um, I can't make any cuts. Um, there may be a PS4 app, I'm not sure, but uh, um, I have to leave all the loading times in for now. <clears throat> Alright, so let's load our test, or yeah, our test uh, setup. Alright, and let's do the rear suspension, get that mid corner oversteer on throttle. So, if you notice, the spring rate's pretty low, <coughs> so on throttle, it's going to want to, the rear, it's going to want to squat on the rear end um, as you accelerate, and so to prevent that, to uh, basically distribute more grip to the front, you want to have stiffer uh, rear suspension, rear spring rate. And this this combined with this um, will make it oversteer, essentially, on throttle. <coughs> or sometimes you might want stability, uh, whatever, I'm not going to go into that. So I'm, gonna, I'm choosing this, this value, whatever it is, because of, of, again, experience and to save time, otherwise I would do a full numerical analysis of which position I'd want. So I'd go here, I'd do maximum, test that, then I'd go to m the middle, about right here, and test that. And then if I want more or, or more or less spring rate, I'd test somewhere in here if I want more, and then test somewhere in here if I want less. So I'm, I'm starting here just because I have experience um, with testing the other cars, and it'll be probably be pretty close to what I want. <clears throat> oh, and the camber angles, um, I'll just that later, but that, that does affect overall grip and can affect how your, your suspension handles because you're putting in more load. If, if you, you gain more grip from adding negative camber angle, it will load the suspension more laterally, um, so camber angle can affect the way you, sus you set up your suspension. <clears throat> but I'll do that uh, probably the next test run and get a baseline. I'm going to test on the baseline I've been testing on with the, the camber that I've been using. So overwrite this. <coughs> Do a shakedown. Uh, I'm probably going to break these into 40 minute uh, segments instead of full hour long just Five, to save four, space three, while uploading. Two, one. Go. While right uploading the individual the videos. Left six and <coughs> right five long over crest continues past junction. Left three through gate to water splash. Left four. Into left six over jump. Into caution left three continues over jump. Right one long tightens don't cut. So here's a good corner Into to test throttle over here because you got. A lot of torque in second gear, or whatever gear you're in there. Same with this. Left four through gates. Press 150, past junction. Left six over bump. 100 pass layby. Press left four. I also need to adjust my tender springs. Finish. <clears throat> I need to adjust the tender springs to make sure I'm getting the performance I want over the bumps. The, the heavy bumps. Let's see. Uh, so I'm going to do that now just to save time. Let's see. What is this at? That might be fine. At least compared to the Hyundai Rally. What is this at? Also, I generally like to keep these uh, equal or the same. At least whatever. I don't know. Since there's no value, I don't know if, if it's actually softer or harder than the front end. I'm just 
trying things out, but I'm, I like to keep these the same for the spring rate for hard landings because uh, um, you do want to stabilize the car in hard landings, but you don't want the car to the front end to dart out in a turn after a hard landing. So you want it, it to stabilize, but not suddenly understeer after a hard landing. So I like to keep the tender springs equal. Or if I wanted to oversteer on a hard landing, I could make the rear tender spring a little bit higher. <clears throat> so I just changed this and that and the brakes. Yeah, I don't, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll change the brake strength because it's, it's locking up, but it's not doing exactly what I want. And I can adjust the differential you know, to get oversteer, but uh, we'll see for now. And then if if uh, the brake strength if the brake strength isn't the issue for causing the uh, understeer lock up mid corner, then um, I'm gonna have to do the uh, brake bias or adjust the brake bias. <coughs> Because it, it it does it, right now it is oversteering a little bit on oh um, a little bit on the um, on the brakes mid corner, but I want it to oversteer a little bit more just to give me a little bit more control mid corner. <coughs> I can also change the uh, the front spring rate even though it's already Five, pretty low. Four, three, two, one. Go, right four long, 60 over bumps. Left six and right five long over crest, continues past junction. Left three through gate towards the splash. Left four. Uh, let's check this. Into left six yeah, over jump. Of Into caution, left three continues over jump. Right one long, tightens, don't cut. Into so acute left. I'm post not having side, a mid corner issue with the stiff spring in the rear. So I'm going to either move it up or leave it where it is because it will, if I do end up in a situation where I need oversteer, having the stiffer rear spring, one will, will keep the car stable and high speed uh, left to right transitions, but also um, give me the oversteer, even if it's a little bit of oversteer, it will give me the oversteer that I need to change the car's yaw. So I'm going to do that rear <coughs> the rear spring, or, hmm. actually let's try the brake bias first, and find out if I lock up, <coughs> lock up the rear too much. Um, I didn't notice, I did have better brake control with the less, the, the lower brake strength, um, meaning I could um, modulate the brake in the mid corner a little bit better. It doesn't just immediately lock up, um, but it, it also didn't yaw as much as I'd like. <coughs> so I, I lowered this. Let's see. Over right. And do a shake down. Uh, one thing I didn't test in the last video with the the, long, the full stage was the gearing. Five, four, I didn't pay attention to whether three, two, one, go. Right whether I had um, good enough fits in sixth gear. Six and right five long over crest continues past junction. Or, or I, said, I should say three, fits three in sixth gear that I like. There's some oversteer on the brakes. Four. So yeah, it's just understeering hard. Um, into left six over jump. Into caution left three oh. continues over jump. That was just my mistake. <laughs> right, one long the benefits of driving a simulator cut. rather than real life. You crash your car as many times into as you need to. Left, inside, 60. To learn something. Caution, <laughs> keep mid over jump, water splash, left four through gate. So I'm not getting much benefit by lowering the rear brake bias, so I'm going to try the rear spring. I could, it could be my ride height too. I might have a, a ride height that's too low in the front, causing me to hit the bump stop. I'm not sure, because I do have soft suspension and a, a, a weak anti-roll, but I'm going to do the, <coughs> the rear spring first. Do that. 
Oh, there's also dampers. That's probably what I need to do. This is a damper. I'm going to try the rear spring. If it doesn't do what I want, then I'm going to do a rear damper to get the, uh, the oversteer I want. And possibly the front damper. We could lower that too. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Well, let's test this out. The rear spring. Now you always want to keep a note of what you changed before you test so you know what you're paying attention to what what is happening to the car and you know what what change made made that effect in the car that over this one more time just in case I forgot <clears throat> okay So, uh, with the rear spring, I'm not having issues with right throttle bottom, oversteer. Titans, so it's, and also it's, it's yawing a little bit more. Side, mid corner. Caution, keep oh. mid over jump, water splash. Left four through gates. But it's not causing a detriment. So the stiffer rear spring junction. will keep it more, six over bump. more stable in transitions. <clears throat> All right, so the brake bias and the rear spring are not doing enough. They're not doing what I what I want. Um, so I'm gonna just go to full. I don't since I, uh, this I don't really know. Where I think I have mine on the Hyundai Rally around here, but um, I'm gonna go to full, I'm gonna do the full range of testing. It's gonna be pretty long, but I'm gonna test this one um, of a maximum, and then I'm gonna bring it down to, to to here probably, and then make minor adjustments from there. <coughs> Probably the front right damper. Long, tightens, don't cut. There's, uh, there's a little bit more yaw on the brakes, left, but it's not side, as much. It's actually pretty good, but I'm going to try, jump, water splash, left four, try adjusting the, the, the front damper. Press 150, to gain, oh, junction, left six over to gain the, uh, the, the yaw that I want. Press left four <coughs> to finish. Let's see, is this stable? It's a little bit unstable there. So yeah, what I'm going to do is it was a little unstable on the high speed uh, turn before the finish. Um, I don't want that, and I want it to settle the car on the brakes um, for safety reasons or for consistency sake, so that I can um, regain control easier. Um, so I'm going to lower <coughs> lower the. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cough. Need some water. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm going to reduce this um, to here, and then if this is if this is uh, yeah if this is too soft, I'll raise it. But first, I'm going to do the the damper on the front. Let's see. Oh, the reason why I'm selecting the damper instead of the spring rate is because the the spring rate will <clears throat> will affect your a uh, spring rate combined with the anti roll bar will affect your your um, maximum uh, cornering load, uh, lateral loading, whereas the damper will affect your transitional um, loading, lateral loading, so that it'll 
it'll either load sooner or load later on the damper rather than uh, changing the maximum uh, lateral loading. So I'm going to go to maximum or minimum and try that out. So the steering may be a little bit wobbly or delayed, but I might have better entry performance. Yeah, yeah much better. But I also don't want it too wobbly, or, or the, I, want the, I want the steering to feel more direct. So I have to find the compromise between uh, response and maneuverability in this case with the Crest front front the damper past junction <coughs> left six over bump 100 pass lay by press left four so i'm going to test this uh braking over crest here so locked up and it's pretty stable it's controllable i should say so the the, the front damper is not an issue that much but i do want more steering response up front so i'm going to increase Nope. Increase this. So two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go up three. So one, two, yeah. Three. And then if that's too much, I'll bring it down one or two. Because three is all the way down. <coughs> Sorry for all the coughing, I it's my throat. I got, I got a little sick over the weekend. Short-term memory, yep, like a goldfish. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Right four long, 60 over bumps. <coughs> left six and right five long over crest, continues past junction. Left three through gate towards a splash. Left four. Whoa, we're a little too fast. Into left six over jump. Into I didn't really. I didn't gain, any, <laughs> I didn't gain any information from that because I, I didn't break into right, the corner properly. Cut. I can test here. Into acute left. There's some yaw. There's the yaw. That's good. Caution, keep mid oh. over jump. Water Maybe in first here, not neutral. Press 150. Past junction, left six over bump, 100 pass lay by, crest, left four. So I could actually increase finish. the front damper because I was getting enough yaw, and if if I want a little bit more steering response, I can test a, a firmer front damper to see if I still get enough yaw with more steering response. <coughs> so instead of going down, from here, I'm going to go up one. This is default, so this is the only option left. And if this isn't, if this is uh, not good enough, I'll go back down to what it was previously. So I'm getting some yaw, left three continues over but uh, it didn't seem like enough. We'll test it right in this long, tight corner here. Into acute left, There's some. Side, 60. Um, it might be enough. 
Caution, keep mid over jump, water splash, left four through gate. Crest 150, past junction, left six over bump, 100 past layby, press left four. We'll see if it's stable over this. To finish. It's a little bit unstable, um, but it's controllable. So it, it, I could go either way, either where it's at or go back down one. Um, it was controllable down one, so I'm going to go down down one, even though the response was a, a little bit better, the steering response. <clears throat> and then there's also rebound. Um, uh, I haven't had any issue yet. Um, I may want more throttle oversteer or maybe a little bit less, depending on how things turn out. Um, but uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Test, test something. So I went back down one here. And so since I, I kind of know what it, it, it performs like here, I'm going to change the camber and get a, a baseline. I'm just going to go maximum. I don't really know how much grip um, there is on all these stages. Um, they could probably run a little bit less, but I, I'm just going to run maximum just because I can't really figure out. There's, I can't. I don't, there's no, I don't have a, an accelerometer or any kind of G meter to see if I gain more G's <coughs> with more camber or more G's with less, a little bit less camber. So I'm just going to run maximum. But uh, if you think it's a little bit too much, or if you know it's a little too much, then by all means reduce that. I haven't really done the full testing to find out because I'm not consistent enough to figure out if the time. I gain is from camber or from just driving better. <clears throat> so let's see. No, okay, save. Six over jump. It's a caution. Left three continues over jump. Right one long tightens. Don't cut. Into a cute left. Post inside. 60. Caution. Keep mid over jump. Water splash. Left four through gate. Press 150. Past junction. Left six over bump. 100 pass lay-by, crest, left four, to finish. So the car right now is performing pretty well. Like if, if, I'd, if I left it as it is, I could drive fine, probably. Um, however, the gearing needs to be adjusted for maybe Finland or something. Um, but uh, the car is performing fine. But there's still other adjustments I can make. Like I, I haven't touched the... <coughs> preload or the braking lock on the front. Um, I haven't touched the rebound on the front or the rebound in the rear. And and so I could leave it as it is or I could try uh, try something else, uh, try, try to change these to see what, what it'll do. Um, and so what I'm going to do <coughs> to give me a little bit more oversteer on throttle because that's what I'm looking for. Um, it wasn't an issue, but also it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a non-issue either. I'm just going to try it. Um, <clears throat> and that's how you find out what works and what doesn't is you try it. You test things out. I didn't really notice a gain or, or loss either, either for uh, having high, the high camber either. So I'm going to leave that as it is. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, 
one, go. Right four long, 60 over bumps. Left six, <coughs> and right five long over crest, continues past junction. Left three through gate, water splash. Left four, into left six over jump. Into caution, left three continues over jump. Right one long, tightens, don't cut. Into acute left, post and side, 60. Caution, keep mid over jump, water splash. Left four through gate. Crest 150, past junction. Left six over bump, 100 past lay by. Crest left four, to finish. <clears throat> another thing, I, another, uh, uh, adjustment I haven't tested is a uh, toe either. Um, yeah, so the, the rebound, I uh, forgot. Uh, honestly, I couldn't say. <laughs> uh, it, it could be here or it could be here. Uh, so let's try it at the uh, minimum rebound, see, see what it does. <clears throat> However, I should actually adjust these toe angles for because uh, this is the, the baseline setup that I use, that's a test setup that I use for all gravel stages. Um, however, I know that at, at Finland, I personally like toe in in the front. And also, uh, if you're running um, whales and you're on like the firm went or whatever, that there's a really fast stage with a lot of slight turns. And I like to have toe in on that stage in, in particular. And so I am going to <coughs> put in toe in in the front. And for whatever reason, according to SAE standards, this is backwards. This should be toe out. Negative degree, negative degrees of toe should be toe out. But um, it, according, according to SAE standards, um, I said, uh, but uh, yeah, in the game it says negative is toe in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Also, I'm going to change. What about that? The suspension in the rear. Put some toe in. For for again that, that firm went stage in particular. Probably about this much. That's how much I have in the uh the Hyundai rally. Doesn't particularly mean it will be the same in this car, but uh <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna go with it right now. over bump, 100 pass lay by, crest, left four, into right six, stay mid over crest, into right six, 130, oh, I, I didn't do a into down. a cube Oops. right. Or was it out of into shakedown stages, I don't remember. Into left six, continues 130 over bumps, ditch inside, left five, keep in, into right three over crest, Press right six into turn left three, tights to two past junction. Into right six, 60. Oh yeah, third gear, a little Press longer. Jump maybe past junction, 170. <coughs> Take note of that. Care right six over jump, 60. Right six over crest, past junction. Into care left six, crest, bump right two, long ditch oh, inside. Not too early on the brakes. Crest, right six, left six. Right six over crest, 110 through dip. Caution, right four, long, don't cut, tightens to three, over crest, immediate turn, hairpin left. 
right four long. Yeah, I might need to increase the right height in the front. We just hit like a, a bump there. Into caution, turn right three tight, immediate turn square left. Into right six past junction. Into right four over crest, tight, keep in. <clears throat> left five, right five, keep in, left two. And right six, into left six. Into right three long, into turn left three, half long. Press jump maybe. Into right four sixty. Turn right six. Care left six over crest. Eighty down. <coughs> turn square right. Right six. Into left four half long. Keep in. Into left two. Keep in. Right five long. One hundred. Right one. Don't cut. Maybe third gear is fine. I don't know. Into left six. I like to use third right gear three. and two. It's a left two long opens 100. Care logs. Right five 80 through dip. Right yeah, three over crest. Third gear is 60, fine. Keep left over crest. Right four don't cut 60. Left six long over crest. Into care right four long. Don't cut logs inside. 60. Right six half long. 60 over crest, caution keep left over crest, down, into right four long, into left one long, into right six, into left six. And that's why box. I like to have the break, breaking right yaw, because I turned in too early, into left six, 60 I can just hit, dab the brake, and it turns Turn in. Turn left one, 40, turn right two, don't cut, bad camber. Into left six, into caution right six, immediate turn hairpin left, into left four long, into caution turn square right, don't cut, logs on exit, right six, don't cut, into left six, 60, left three long, don't cut, into right six, 60 oh. over crest, caution right okay. five, into left three <coughs> tight over crest, Right six crest, 130. Right Ooh, six that, into yeah. care, left six, keep mid over jump. Convenient. I had that post. Into right like four, it came in too fast. Into caution, left six long. Over crest jump, right five. And right five long, into left six long over crest. I lost all my confidence. Into right six half long. Through gate, crest. And left five long. Into right four, 40 gate. Right six, 40, left six, into right three long, 40, right five continues for 80 over crest, tightens to three, into left five over crest continues and tightens to four, keep right over jump, maybe, left six, right six, keep left over jump, maybe, right five long, into caution, left six, big jump, right four, right four left after left six, six. 40 bump. Right three long past junction, into left six crest jump, right five long 60, left four long keep in. So I actually want a little bit more. Into caution, keep right over jump. A little more stability left mid six. corner. Where is this? Right oh yeah. Two long. Into <coughs> left so I'm gonna three long. reduce into right six long. the rear damper next into video. right three, left six, right four crest. Left four long, keep in 100. Oops. Left four long, there we go. into right one long, <clears throat> 60. Oh, that's a one call out, it sounded like a four. Turn hairpin right. Back there. No wonder it's a third gear corner. Into left two, tights to one, over crest, 60 to finish. All right, um, I don't know how many video or how many episodes this is going to be, but uh, still not done yet. See you in the next one.